Hi, for this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to install Google Analytics onto your WordPress blog using plugins. First thing we have to do is get a Google Analytics account. And we're going to do that by going to Google Analytics, which is www.google.com backslash analytics. Then we're going to go into our WordPress dashboard, into plugins, and we're going to look at add new. And we're going to put in Google Analytics and search our plugins. And here you can see it gives us our profiles, our tracking code, our property settings, and our social settings. I'm going to go ahead and click on tracking code. And as I scroll down, it's going to give us our application tracking so we can choose if it's going to also be used with Android SDK and iOS SDK. It's going to give us the property name and the URL. The tracking has not been installed yet, but we're going to do that in a moment. And we're going to do that by coming down here where it gives us a choice between standard, advanced, and custom. I'm just going to go ahead and use the standard right now and I'm going to tell it that I'm just going to be tracking a single domain but you can also choose multiple domains or multiple top-level domains if that's what you've got. You can also choose if you're going to track AdWords campaigns but I don't have any AdWords campaigns right now so I'm going to leave that blank. And then down below it's going to ask you to paste this code into every page we want to track immediately before the closing which is the backslash head tag. I'm going to go ahead and click on save so it saves my settings. Here in profiles you can also choose your assets that you want to be available in this profile, the goals that you'd like to set, and you can set goals such as people who go to your contact me page or even who click on your RSS feed subscription, the users that you're going to put in here that can check your Google Analytics and right now it's just me under administrator, the filters and you can choose filters to put in here, and your profile settings. You can put your default page, if you want to exclude any URL query parameters, how you want your currency displayed, whether or not it's an e-commerce site, and if you want search tracking. And that's if you have a search on your site. And then click apply when you're done. Going back into my WordPress dashboard, I'm going to go to plugins and installed plugins. And now I'm going to go down to Google Analytics click on settings and it's going to ask me to authenticate with Google. Then I'm going to go into my tracking code tab. This is the tracking ID for my Google Analytics property which I'm going to copy. Go back into my Google Analytics configuration. Now it's going to ask you to select the correct analytics profile. I'm going to scroll down and underneath the reauthenticate with Google button I'm going to click on manually enter your UA code and it gave and I'm going to take the UA code and I'm going to click and paste it in tell it to put it tell it to put the tracking code in the header or you can have it so you can insert it manually track outbound clicks and downloads show advanced settings if you wish and then click on update Google Analytics settings and now my Google Analytics settings are updated that means that anytime somebody comes to my home page it's going to go into my Google Analytics and show up but it will take till the next day to show up if you go to your dashboard in Google Analytics, you'll see a bunch of the tools that it has includes how many visits you've had to your site, the average visit duration, the goal conversion rate, meaning how many of the goals you set have been achieved, visits by traffic type, visits and page views by URL, visits and average visit duration, and the goal completions. It also can set automatic alerts. When you come back to Google Analytics, you'll go to Standard Reporting, and you'll be able to choose which of these metrics you're going to see. And it's also going to show you all of this information down here. If you want further information, just click through all of your options over here on the right hand on the left hand side and it will show you everything from traffic sources to what pages people are looking at to what they're searching for in Google to find your page. So that's how you set up Google Analytics using the plugin. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks and I'll see you at the next tutorial.